Hello and welcome back to the Knowledge Catalogs Earth and Space Science. Uh, so this is Sir CJ. Uh, it, sorry, dear. <laughs> I'm Sir CJ and um, I would like to help you out in uh, mastering this learning competency. Learning competency number four, which is to illustrate how energy from volcanoes may be tapped for human use. So in the previous video, we learned something about how geothermal what geothermal energy is and how a geothermal uh, power plant geothermal uh, power plant uh, works. So this may have time for the idea. Done. And now what we'll be doing is uh, we're just going to continue that by mentioning some geothermal power plants in the Philippines, and then we'll be discussing signs of an impending volcanic eruption to just uh, wrap up our uh, module on volcanoes. And then we will be uh, finishing off with the summative assessment uh, for, I mean, which is comprised of multiple choices. So I hope that you are keeping your, uh, no, you keep your uh, notebook in science uh, ready and that uh, you have your pen and you, you, you know, or you don't need a calculator for the summative assessment. If you want to follow through with some sort of a reading material, you can uh, open your learner's module on module one, pages uh, 22 to 25. Let's begin. So, the mention that is the Pawan Geothermal Power Plant uh, last time in our previous uh, video. Um, the Philippines, since it is comprised of uh, many islands, it also is along the Pacific Ring of Fire. We can just expect that uh, marami, major marine volcanoes. Uh, so, this great number of volcanoes is uh, of active volcanoes is suitable for the building of a geothermal of geothermal power plants in the country, and this makes it. Uh, rank second in the world's power production of uh, electri electrical energy through geothermal power plants when it comes to uh, uh, when we when we rank it. Okay. So we're talking about the world here. Now harnessing this energy for electricity supports major household heating and uh, electrical needs such as, as well as major industrial processes. And so um, Areas such as windy places, the windy places of Mindanao and the rainy islands of Batanes are highly suitable for the establishment of geothermal power plants. Uh, wind and rain, you know, what their connection. Okay, so yeah, climate and weather. Okay, so the amount of rainfall and uh, the presence of, uh, of breeze, of winds. Uh, yeah, it's suitable because uh, remember, Geothermal energy, energy as a form of energy is renewable. So, para maging talaga niya renewable siya, dapat yung tubig so sa aquifer, pwede siya ma-replenish through rainfall. So, uh, figure 81 is the uh, Mitsubishi-owned Mitsubishi Makban uh, geothermal power plant. It, it, it's this one. Okay, so, Makban geothermal power plant. Um, some of the geothermal power plants in the country are can be found in Tawonan, in Tiwi, Valencia, Bago, and uh, in Laguna, so less in source of them. Yeah. Um, these are some of the geothermal power plants that you need, power plants that you need to, take, uh, to take note of if you want to see the other geothermal power plants aside from the Kidapawan and Makban geothermal power plants, you can always uh, search for them in the internet and they will be available for you. And so now we'll be talking about the different signs of an impending volcanic eruption. Um, ano yung mga signs na pwede natin itig note when it comes to, I mean, to, to know whether or not meron napapalapit na volcanic eruption. Siyempre, halata na yung mga, siguro meron siyang volcanic activity na in the, in the, in the form of earthquakes or pwede rin nagre-release siya ng tremendous amount of ashes, okay? Tapos alam na rin naman natin yung, ano, yung box, hot springs. Well, that's common. But what other uh, signs can we uh, can we uh, look out for uh, to know if there is an impending volcanic eruption? So, first among them is there's an increase of in the frequency of volcanic earthquakes with rumbling sounds. Tas meron ding mga volcanic tremors. So, yung ano yung lupa malapit sa mga vulcan or sa isang vulcan is uh, nagkakaroon ng shaking okay, ng mga tremors. So that's a that can be taken as a sign na mala mayroong isang malapit or papalapit na volcanic eruption. Apart from that, uh, there's an increase in steamy acti activities of the uh, of the volcano. Nagbago na rin yung kulay ng steam emission from white into gray dahil nga meron ng ash yung nilalabas nung um, na, na yung meron ng ash na nilalabas yung steam ay yung, yeah, yung volcano. <laughs> 
what I mean about that is that is team na kaya puti. Tapos since may gano'n na, since may rin ng Ash, nagiging gray na siya. Yan. The next one is uh, yung crater, nagaglow siya dahil sa presence of magma. Ito, mas easy siyang makita kapag gabi. And then the next uh, sign is uh, aside from the you know uh, yung glowing magma, pwede rin meron mga ground swelling, ground tilts, and ground fissure fissures like this one due to magma intrusion and magma flow. And so, parang ano parang yun nga since alam niyo yung ground swelling parang namamaga yeah yung ground parang nakausli siya ganon nakatilt siya or pwedeng meron siyang parang daluyan because of magma intrusion. One more sign that we can look out for is yung mga landslide. Uh, usually, uh, makikita mo talaga to uh, as a result of volcanic quakes too or uh, generally uh, because the temperature of the ground is changing, uh, mas prone sa landslide yung area malapit sa volcano. So, pero yung, aside from landslides, may mga rock falls too. Ayan. And uh, they, these are not even attributed nga, as it was clarified in this, ano, in this text, uh, it's not attributed with heavy rains. Because usually kapag landslide, it's attributed to heavy rains, like napapalambot niya yung lupa, di ba? Pero dito, iba yung cause ng paglambot ng lupa. It's um, a volcanic eruption that can, that is about to come. One more, ano, one more sign of an impending volcanic eruption is uh, yung pagda-dry up ng vegetation around the volcano's upper slope. So, yung dating may mga ano, dati na mayroong mga uh, puno, wala namang nagkaingin, pero uh, na, ano, namamatay yung mga puno, ayun, kasi ang init na nung, ano, nung place, so it's no longer favorable for plant life. So, namamatay sila. One more is uh, yung mga hot springs so dito itong ito, this is a uh, this is the Bulusan ano hot spring and uh, though nagiging ano siya tourist destination siya may mga possibilities na maging masyado siya mainit. Okay so aside from that pwede ring lakes okay kung hindi man hot spring or wells may mga yung mga lawa bawa yung sa taal. Kapag tumataas kapag tumataas yung temperature noon to the point na hindi na normal uh, we can expect that there is an impending volcanic eruption. Also, there is a variation in the chemical content of the spring. So, hindi lang basta yung temperature, yun na bago, pati yung uh, chemical content niya, nagbago rin. So, pwedeng mas dumami yung sulfur niya, ganun, or uh, basta parang dati, safe pang matouch yung water, pero since... Ang nagbago na yung chemical composition niya, pero pwede meron siyang component na dangerous na even to breathe the steam. Dati, okay lang. Okay, one more is uh, kung di man yun yung mga nag-dry up, um, ay, kung di man sila nag-raise ang nag temperature, di man nagbago yung ano, yung, I mean, pwede mag-raise ang temperature, pwede rin magbago yung chemical content, pwede rin na mag-dry up yung body of water. So, yung spring, yung, yung well, or yung river, na dating may tubig, pwede siya mag-dry up. Tulad na lang halimbawa ng river na to, na malapit sa Taal Volcano. So, one more is uh, Sulfataras. Um, yung mga, ano, yung mga areas na dati ay wala namang nire-release na steam. Okay, so, kapag halimbawa, biglang meron siyang nire-release na steam, Okay, so that's a sign of an impending volcanic eruption. Or yung mga dating uh, may, parang may nire-release na steam, tapos ngayon, ay tas na wala after a while, nagbalik na naman, or you can expect na meron na namang paparading na volcanic eruption. Such as this one, this is a Salpatara uh, in Mandalagan, Negros Occidental. Ayan, so uh, that ends the different signs of an impending volcanic eruption. So I hope you took note of them. Let us now test your knowledge okay, in this uh, module by answering these five questions. Multiple choices naman sila. So, yeah. The first item is Mount Balungao has in Pangasinan, Ilocos region has never, uh, in Pangasinan, Ilocos region has never erupted in the last 10,000 years. Neither is there a record of its explosion, if any, in the history of the Philippines. So which among the following statements applies 
to this behavior of Mount Balungao. So A, Mount Balungao is a highly active volcano. B, Mount Balungao is an active volcano but is, it is not eruptive. C, Mount Balungao is an inactive volcano but can erupt in the next 10 years following 2021. And then D, Mount Balungao is an inactive volcano. If you need more time, you can pause this video. If you have decided to continue, let us uh, uh, let's proceed with atom number two. Yeah. Numino ultra microscopic silica volcano caniosis is the longest word in the English dictionary so far, and it is defined as the inflammation of the lungs due to the inhalation of silica dust. Silica dust comes from volcano as a pyroclastic material. Which among the following elements is the main component of silica dust? Is it A. Sulfur? Is it B. Silicon? C. Strontium? Or is it D. Antimony? You can pause this video if you need more time. Pero I think you know exactly what the answer is. Yeah? Okay. Let's now proceed with question number three. Honey becomes thicker, like literally honey, becomes thicker when kept in a cold place. It becomes lighter when heated. So this property of honey is like magma because temperature plays a vital role in the behavior of magma inside an active volcano. Alright, so which among the following properties of honey and magma is being described? So is it A, the lang their lengths, if any, and then uh, B, viscosity, C, mass, or D, intensity? Pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number four. Volcanoes can erupt and ooze out magma that can meet a body of water such as a river. In some cases, magma meets ice or groundwater. It also results in large amounts of pyroclastic materials such as ash. So, which among the following types of volcanic eruptions is being described? Is it A. Hawaiian Strombolian? Is it, uh, I mean, is it A. Hawaiian? B. Strombolian? Is it C. Plinian or is it D. Freato Magmatic? Pause this video if you need more time. If you have decided to continue, let us proceed with question number five. Okay, so question number five when it comes to dealing with volcanoes, locals who are living near an active one must be vigilant about their surroundings. Which among the following is a good indicator of an upcoming volcanic eruption? A. Tremors on the ground. B. Change in animal behavior. C. Drying up of small bodies of water. And D. All of the above. Question number five is Loki teaching you one more of the uh, different signs of an impending volcanic eruption. So, yeah, be vigilant about that. Okay, let us now proceed with answering uh, these questions. The answer to question number one is D. Simply, Mount Balungao is an active, inactive volcano. The answer to question number two is B, silicon, represented as SI. The answer to question number three is B, viscosity. The answer to question number four is D, freato magmatic. The answer to question number five is D, all of the above. Count the number of correct answers. Okay, record your score. Do not forget to record your score in the upper upper uh, right-hand corner of the paper, of your paper. Okay, so um, we are through with uh, this module. Oh yeah, uh, natapos din tayo. No? Uh, <laughs> Uh, nakailan tayo? Okay, apat na mga videos for the first module in this quarter. And I hope that uh, you will be staying until we finish the entire quarter. Don't worry, uh, we only have um, module 1 about volcanoes, module 2 about climate and weather, and then module 3 which is about uh, constellations. And so uh, we are through with, the, with, the, with this learning competency, learning competency number 4, which is uh, illustrate how energy from volcanoes may be tapped for human use we're through with this of uh, these parts of the you know of this session again and i'm hoping to see you in the next video have a good day